but we finally managed to paint our tatty old van and in this video we'll show you exactly how we painted Helsing using nothing but a roller and if you're thinking about painting your own van hopefully we'll be able to pass on some tips and tricks on how to get a decent finish. Hey everyone, hope you're all well. It feels like an absolute age since I last put a video up on YouTube. But unfortunately for us, the next task, we need the weather. And all it has done these last two weeks is nothing but rain. It's been absolutely horrid. We want to get Helsing painted. So of course, if you haven't got the weather, you can't paint him. But the weekend's here. The sun is finally shining. Fingers crossed the rain will hold off and we can finally slop some paint on this van of ours and make him look a bit prettier. Now the paint that we've decided to go with is this Rust-Oleum Comicolor. Now it's a little bit more expensive than military paint but it comes in any colour that you could possibly imagine. Now we're going to be rollering this onto the van and having looked absolutely everywhere on the internet, I'm talking forum boards, social media, so on and so forth, anywhere that you could possibly imagine, the common consensus seems to be that you want to be thinning this four parts combi colour to one part white spirits. So as you've seen, the paintwork on Helsing, it's pretty bad. There's paint peeling pretty much everywhere on him. So what we've done in preparation to paint him is we've taken some 400 grit wet and dry and we've given him a good rubbing over, trying to feather in all of the blistered paint, wherever that may be, which is like I say, it's pretty much everywhere. So we've then given him a good clean, get rid of all the dust and all the, well, all the rubbish on him. And what we're going to do now is I've got these wonder wipes. I'm going to give I'm going to give him a good wipe over with with these, just to lift off any residue that might be left from the the soap that we've washed him with, or or, or anything else that matter. We're going to give him a good wipe over with these, and then once we're done with these, we'll then go over him again with some tack cloths just to get rid of any dust that might be left after after that, and then we're ready for paint. We used green frog tape to mask off any areas that we didn't want to get covered in paint. Now we painted our van on the second hottest day of the year and I know I mentioned earlier that as a general rule of thumb you're looking at mixing four parts Rust-Oleum to one part thinners but because of the heat we decided to go a little heavier on the thinners it just gave you a little bit more working time with the roller. Now we found that you only get a few minutes work time with the Rust-Oleum Combi Colour and overworking the paint it gives you a less than desirable finish. But it didn't take us long to get a feel for the paint and how to manipulate it to get a nice finish. It just took us a bit of practice and we quickly found our own way. And there's no reason why you can't too. We found that we had about a three or four minute window to actually work the paint and in that time we'd be constantly looking back to chase any uneven stroke marks that appeared as the paint settled on the bodywork. Now 
Now for those hard to reach areas, we decided to use a little paintbrush just to get into those nooks and crannies. And whilst we were able to get a nice finish using the brush, it was, it was quite awkward to manipulate the paint with it. Having a decent amount of thinners added to the paint allowed us to achieve a nice light coat of paint on the van. Now initially when you first roll the paint onto the van it'll look like the surface of the moon but you just got to keep manipulating it keep trying to roll it out nice and flat just like I say just for those three or four minutes and then you've just got to step step away from it leave it and after a minute or two it'll just smooth itself out We decided to replace the paintbrush with a foam brush and the, the results that we were, we were able to achieve with it were, they were night and day. Dabbing into those nooks and crannies, you get a really nice finish. In, initially, it'd look, you'd, you'd have like a, a stippled effect on the paintwork. Just like using the roller, just after a minute or two, it'd, the paint would settle down and it'd look great. We found that the trick with these particular type of rollers was to only apply light pressure to the roller and actually let the, the roller do the work. So here we are after one coat. And I have to say, we were pleasantly surprised. We didn't expect it to look quite this good. And whilst in a few little areas here and there, it's a little bit patchy, on the whole, we, got, we think we've got really good coverage. We found that working the paint past the three or four minute mark would result in the unwanted orange peel effect. In preparation for the second coat, we followed the same process as the first. We rubbed back any rough areas that were showing through our new coat with 100 grit and then we followed that up by rubbing the whole van down with a 400 grit wet and dry. We then wiped the whole van over with some panel wipes and we followed that up by going over it again with some tack cloths. And if you're rolling your van outside, particularly in the summer months, you're guaranteed to come across bugs. They're just, they're like, they're like homing missiles aiming for your paintwork. 
And if one happens to land in a section that you're currently rolling, by all means, try and get it out with your finger. But if they land on anything that you've worked on five, ten minutes ago, just, just leave them. Leave them there. They won't do any harm. And once the paint's hard and once it's dried, you can, you can just rub them out then. Here we have the final article, at least for the time being anyway. That's Helsing covered in two fresh coats of paint and I'm sure you'll all agree with me when I say it looks like a new van. They have it. I'm sure you'll agree with me when I say that Helsing looks like a completely different van now. The paint job's completely transformed him. Now, of course, I've never ever painted a van before in my life. I mean, why would you? But I did my research online. I looked at various forum boards, social media, groups. I looked at YouTube videos. The information's out there. All you gotta do is take that knowledge and apply it to your own paint job. So there's one important thing that I've neglected to mention and that's the actual rollers that we decided to use. Now I, I, see, I seem to find two camps on the internet, one that recommend a high density foam roller and you look at the paint jobs of the guys that use these rollers and they look absolutely fantastic. And then there's another camp and they tend to recommend a brand called Fussy Blokes. They're quite expensive so I decided to have a look, do my own research, and I came across this brand here called ProDeck. I found them on Amazon, and they're a gloss pile roller. And to look at the actual rollers themselves, they look very similar to the Fussy Blokes, but they're a fraction of the price. So I wanted to create this video for two reasons. The first being, provided I could actually paint the van myself and make it look half decent, I wanted to show you guys out there who are interested in possibly painting your own vehicle that it's achievable, it's possible. With no prior experience, you can paint your own vehicle and make it look decent. The second reason is I wanted it to be instructional. I wanted to take all that information that I found online and put it in one place so you can just watch this video, go out there, buy the tools that you think you need and just crack on with it and hopefully that'll be, that'll be enough, that'll be all you need. Whether, it's, whether I've succeeded or not, I don't know, but that, that was the aim anyway. So that's two coats now. Now whilst the first coat looked a little bit patchy, the second coat has completely addressed that. It looks, it looks really good. Now we don't intend to leave it there. It's not finished. Uh, we want to get on another two if not three more coats and then we'll flat it back and we'll give it a good polish and that'll, that'll be the finished article then. And it looks good now. I think once we've got another, once we've got those two or three coats down and polished it back we'll think it'll look even better. But what we're going to do now 
like I say, two coats on, we want to move on from this. The van looks a damn sight better than what it did do. So we want to move on from this and we want to actually start the conversion itself. We're really excited by this, as I'm sure you can well imagine. So, so far, all we've used is about three quarters of two and a half litre tin. It's not a lot really, is it? So if you've got an old camper van and you're thinking about giving it a fresh lick of paint but you don't want to pay the price for a professional spray job, you're on a tight budget, roller it, just do it, it's, it's great. If you enjoyed this video then please give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more and you haven't done so already then please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you know exactly when we put up a new video. And until next time guys, take it easy, stay safe and we'll see you in the next video.